I told him it's for the experience, you see. Uh, I guess we gotta talk about Kawhi, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, him not being here and everything. Is that something that happened Monday night, or is that yeah. something that's been brewing for a couple weeks? Like, how it's been brewing for a little while, and he had some hip soreness, you know, during the last game, and, you know, he tried to play through it. And then when the game kind of got out of reach in the fourth quarter, you know, he didn't want to bring him back, you know, because he was experiencing that uh, left sore hip, so, but he'll be okay. And, you know, is that, so, is that something that's related to December, or? I'm not sure. You know, I didn't really dive into it. I just know he was experiencing some, you know, little pains here and there. And um, he played through it, you know, and during the you know, fourth quarter, the game kind of got out of reach, so I got him both chances. So, you know, we got him out of it. Is there any concern that he won't be good to go for you guys' first game back post All-Star break, or do you think that the All-Star break should get him good to go? I think the All-Star break should get him, get him ready to, be, to play, I hope, you know, but um, I don't think it's something that's serious. I know it's next man up, but like, how much tougher does it get to defend this team considering how tough they are to defend and how much they move and everything like that without Kawhi? Yeah, I mean, it's tough. Anytime we're playing without Kawhi, PG, James, any of our guys, it's tough, you know. But um, to have another defender on the floor, like I said, with Steph and Clay and the way they move the basketball, the way they play in transition at home, um, the pace they play at, it's always great to have, you know, additional defenders. But, you know, we got to, like I said, next man up and be ready to play. Let's get ready for Hoop Jabs.